Now, for you to be watching this video, that means you have some kind of interest in being a content creator, in being a YouTuber. Okay, so sit back, enjoy while I give you all of the tips that you need to follow in order to grow a successful YouTube channel in the year 2022. The pointers I'll be giving here are just major tips that will help you in creating and growing your channel. If this is the first time you're coming across this channel, please click on the subscribe button to join the family, okay? And click on the notification icon as well. That bell icon will help you, it will help give you notifications whenever we drop new videos. You'll be the first to know. How to start and grow a successful YouTube channel. Now, the very first thing you need to do if you would like to open a YouTube channel is to make a plan and then start. Make a plan, point number one. Just start, point number one. That's because most times we get stuck in overanalyzing things, okay? While we are trying to make a plan in how to become a YouTuber or in how to become a content creator, we can fall into this trap of overthinking things and trying to make everything perfect. There is no perfect first video. I can assure you, sis or oh, bro, that the very first video you post on YouTube will never be your best video. Making a plan is very important when starting up a YouTube channel because, like we all know, whoever fails to plan, plans to fail. So you can't just embark on any endeavor without giving it proper thought or, or like, at least thinking about the nitty gritties or the details of what that particular endeavor you're planning to embark on involves. So making a plan before starting your YouTube channel is vital. But please, while you're making a plan, try not to overthink things because overthinking will, help, will make you start procrastinating. And when you start procrastinating, you won't start your channel as early as you would have by the time you start thinking about all of these things. So you can make an introductory video of yourself, like a mini um, three minutes or less video of yourself and put it up there on your channel. You've started. And then subsequently, you can now start introducing the various areas or the various interesting topics or the various interesting things you would like to tell your audience. Or the second point that you will need in order to start your channel this 2022 is to set a goal for yourself. It's very important to set a goal for, a goal for yourself as a YouTuber or as an intending YouTuber because YouTube can be over overwhelming, guys. YouTube can be very, very overwhelming, especially when maybe what you expected is not what you're seeing or or you've not achieved the results that you wanted. Maybe you posted your first video and you, you are expecting like 500 or 600 persons to watch your video within the first week of posting. And you wake up after like two weeks, three weeks, and you're seeing that you have just 20 or 30 views. It can be discouraging and overwhelming. But if you have a goal and you work towards your goal, that goal you've set, to, set for yourself is also very important that you write down these YouTube goals, okay? Because it keeps you encouraged. It, it helps you not get distracted by, okay, whatever issues that you might encounter during your YouTube journey. It had important pointer you would need in order to open a youtube channel is pick a niche for yourself okay and make your niche searchable once you decide that you're going into youtube you must have something that you want to tell people or you can't just say okay i want to start a youtube channel okay when you start a youtube channel what are you telling us in your channel you must have areas of interest right so pick from your various areas of interest things you love doing what do you like searching for whenever you go online what do you like watching whenever you're on youtube what do you like searching for whenever you're on google those are your areas of interest and those are things that you have a passion for that you can talk about comfortably okay if you have more than one passion or you have more than one area of interest that you would like to talk about it's not a bad idea okay you can work Produce videos around those your various areas of interest and then gradually start looking for what your audience is like Yes, while it is very important for you to make videos concerning what you like It is most beneficial for you to make videos that your audiences or your viewers would like to watch YouTube is the second largest search engine 
in the world and that's because a lot of persons go to youtube to get information they go to youtube to search for something that is beneficial to them so whatever area you're interested in on youtube try to make the videos you produce searchable for example if you're interested in a, in lifestyle vlogs you have a video you you prepared and is ready for upload and you title that video a day in my life for example if you're a very new youtuber nobody knows you so if you if you have a video titled a day in my life on your channel that video might not get as much views except if you are a very big youtuber a very popular youtuber you know that people are going to watch that video but if you're a small youtuber you have to make searchable content you have to make content that people are interested in for example i'm a twin mom and i have a lifestyle channel I make a video and I put it up, up on my channel. The title of my video is A Day in the Life of a Twin Mom Living in Nigeria. Now compare a day in my life and a day in the life of a twin mom living in Nigeria. They are diff they are a day in the life of a twin mom living in Nigeria is more searchable because you might have a new a new mom who just discovered that okay her, in her, um she's expecting twins she's not just pregnant but she's expecting twins and then she's uh, curious about how it feels like to have twins or how it feels like to be a first time mother and to be expecting twins that could make her go to YouTube and then search for twin moms and my video will pop up day in the life of a twin mom and my video will pop up while you are uploading videos on your youtube channel that is of interest to you or that you have a passion for try to make those videos searchable if you have various um areas of interest if you're confused about which area of interest you should talk more if you have like three areas of interest in your life like you like food and you would like to show your lifestyle and you also like um fashion content make series of videos concerning these different areas for example you can choose to tell yourself that okay in the next three months or four months three or four months that i will make 10 10 videos concerning these three areas of life that i like so much i'll make 10 videos you can make 10 videos about fashion and you make 10 videos or less about recipes and food and you make 10 videos about lifestyle upload all of these videos on your channel over time and watch the growth of each of these videos after three months or after four months you can now go to your analytics and check which video is doing more what is your most watched video on youtube what is your second most watched video on youtube what's your third most watched video on youtube Try to see what's real, what um, is connecting all of these videos. If your first, second, third most watched videos on YouTube is fashion based, then it just means your viewers are more interested in seeing you create fashion content. That's YouTube way of telling you, madam or bros or oga, your viewers are interested in you showing them fashion content. And you can choose to listen to YouTube and start creating more fashion related content. Or you can choose to disobey YouTube and still do what you want to do. But we all aim to grow. So it's important that whenever we have videos that are doing well on our channel, that we create relate, relatable videos to those particular videos. That's the way we can grow on our YouTube channel. The next important thing you need to pick up for yourself is the right kind of equipment. Tip number four, pick the right kind of equipment for your channel and for yourself. As a YouTuber or as a content creator, what do you need in order to run a successful YouTube channel? The very first thing you think about is um, your camera or your phone. When you're thinking about your equipment, try not to um, get discouraged by the various high-tech equipments out there. Okay, You can create really nice videos with what you have. I'm creating this particular video I'm talking, about, I'm talking with, with my phone with my mobile phone so it's not about the high um, tech videos DSLR camera and the rest of them that is out there those are not the things that makes your channel interesting what makes your channel interesting is your personality and the information you're putting out out there okay so if you have a DSLR camera or you have any other camera of any sort in your house fine that means you have a very good start if you do not have a DSLR camera it's also okay to use your phone 
most of the phones right now have very good camera qualities okay so clean up the lens of your cam of your phone mobile phone camera and start creating your content the second thing you might need is a microphone there are also different amounts of microphones out there okay there are cheaper microphones there are more expensive microphones if you also cannot afford a microphone use your phone your mobile phone has inbuilt microphone that can serve you okay most times we use it an external mic in order to increase the audibility of our content but if you do not have an external microphone at the moment you can make use of your cell phone um internal microphone but just target the times of the day when you have less noise around you the next equipment you need that is very vital for your channel is getting an editing software or an editing app if you have a laptop desktop or system just any kind of computer around you and you're very good with working with computers and all you can make use of free editing softwares to edit your videos if you do not have a laptop or desktop around you you can also make use of your mobile mobile phone i've edited movies um content i've edited contents on my mobile phone before though i don't enjoy it but i do whenever like i don't have access to my laptop i edit with my mobile phone okay so get free editing softwares i'll leave a list of editing softwares on the screen these softwares are completely free you also have uh, paid for pro versions of editing softwares but you do not need all of those now especially if you're just starting up on your youtube journey um editing might not be your thing so most times the free editing softwares are even easier to use than the pro version the next thing that is also very vital that you would need in order to film and run your channel successfully is natural light or artificial light video okay so if you can afford like a ring light you can get a ring light there are low budget ring lights out there that are very cheap to use but if you cannot afford a ring light or a led light like artificial lights at all you can make use of natural lights and film when you still have daylight in. right now i'm not in my home where i come if you look around me, you know this is not the usual backdrop i have when i'm making a video i'm actually not in town not in my hometown so my ring light is not even with me but i'm filming currently with natural light i'm sitting directly in front of a window while making my video that way my video will be very clear and i'm trying as much as possible to hurry up with what i'm filming because i don't want the place to get dark when i'm still filming my content i don't want the visual quality of my video to go poorer than it, the way it already is okay so whenever you're making videos with natural lights try to film when the sun is high or try to film when um the weather is good tip number five okay now that we are done with picking our equipment and all we need to start filming okay so tip number five start filming before you start filming your content whatever content you would like to put out there make research on your topic okay how do you do that you can go to google and search about whatever topic you want youtube so you can go to youtube and research other youtubers videos see how they make their points you do not have to copy everything they say word for word no but just see how they make their points see how they arrange their their affairs and and then try to do the same with yours while adding your own point of view and your own personality as well to the to the video so plan your video and film it after planning your video after filming your video the next thing you have to do is editing your video when editing your video try to go straight to the point cut out all of the um, things you're saying that is not related to that particular content content you're about to put out there the next thing you know now we've we've created our content we've edited our content you also need to create very good thumbnails see most of the times people as new youtubers a lot of the people who watch you have not watched you before but whenever youtube recommends your video to them the very first thing that catches their attention is probably your video title or your thumbnail thumbnail is that very first picture you see by your video and then the title is obviously what you give what you name your video by the time you're uploading it on your platform okay so have a very good thumbnail and one of the apps people use in order to get very good thumbnail i currently i personally use 
Canva. It is very, very easy to use. Canva is a web page, a graphic design web page that you can just go. You have a free version and a pro version. So if you have the money to splurge it for the pro version, you can also you can choose the pro version. But if you don't have the money, you can use the free version. I have used the free version a lot, okay, on my video. So make use of Canva. Visit Canva and just play around with it. Try to generate very good thumbnails that will prompt your viewer. Whoever comes across your recommended video on YouTube should be interested whenever they see your thumbnail so your thumbnail should be very clickable but try not to do clickbait okay don't put something in your thumbnail that you did not talk about at all in your video just to make people click on it that's clickbait and if the person discovers that um that thing that makes her click him or her click on your video to watch is actually not in your video the person might either not watch your video to the end or after watching your video the person might not return to your channel to watch again so try to avoid and the very last thing I want to say is be natural with your videos. For you to want to or become a content creator, you must have been watching other people's YouTube channel. Probably you have a big YouTuber that you like, that you've always visited their their YouTube channel, and maybe it's because of those people that you 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 had you picked interest in content creating or YouTubing. Try not to become a replica of the person. It's good to have YouTube role models, okay? It's good to have role models in life, but don't try to be exactly like your role. Try not to fake accents that you don't have, okay? If you don't have an American accent, you don't have an American accent. Use your Nigerian accent like that. You'll see people who will like you for who you are. Because one thing is, whenever you try to fake accents or whenever you try to fake personality, people see through you. Okay, and they know that you're pretending that that's not who you really are. How long can you keep up that accent? Today you have British accent. Tomorrow you have American accent. Next tomorrow you have Jamaican accent. Just stick to the accents that you have. And people will love you for your natural personality. But that's it for this video. If you have any question, please leave it down in the comment section. Before, if you are coming across this channel for the first time and you know that what you just watched is beneficial to you, please click on the subscribe button to join the family, right? Click on the notification icon as well so that whenever we post content creating tips like this you will be notified see you guys in the comment section or see you guys in my next video bye